I'm looking forward to it, but once it's time for the game, I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just thinking about playing well. Making my way through the Elka entrance as a visitor felt kind of strange. Sitting in the visitor's locker room did as well. No real big game jitters here. This is a court where in three years of middle school and JV basketball, I never experienced a loss. In fact, my last game in an Elkin uniform was on this floor when I played JV as an 8th grader, and I have good memories. I remember having the ball in my hands to wrap up a stellar basketball career with the Chargers, capped off with back-to-back -back championships. But now the script is flipped, and now I'm the enemy, but I have no intentions on blemishing my personal record on this floor. In warm-ups, I felt pretty loose. Number 23, Christina Walker. Once the game started, we came out aggressive. Maybe a little too aggressive, as my teammate Kai Carter was charged with an offensive foul. Entering the game, we had heard about an exchange student who joined Elka's team this year. She wasted no time introducing herself. But before any extensive celebrating could commence, we were right back at them. Midway through the quarter, we found ourselves trailing by five, then eight. And after Chloe Craig's drive to the basket, we were down double digits. To our credit, we battled back. My first three-point attempt found the bottom. Yeah. 
and shortly thereafter, I was able to maneuver inside the paint and draw contact. Our diligence paid off as we scored the final six points of the first quarter to close the deficit to one point, 20 to 19. We then took our first lead to open the second quarter. From that point on, it was game on. I was determined to prove who was the queen of this court as we picked up the intensity on both ends of the floor. My assist on Kai's three-pointer gave us a two-point advantage heading into the break. In the second half, we made a defensive change in which I was assigned to guard their team's leading scorer. But once she was contained, Chloe Craig got hot and ran off eight straight points. Our team did an awesome job of responding, despite Kaylin Thompson's put-back basket. Once again though, we were able to close out the quarter on a positive note, take a 36-35 lead, and we never looked back. And just like my last game for Elka, the basketball was in my hands to close out another victory. But this time, the score read Padea 45, Eagles Landing Christian Academy 43. 
After the game, it was so nice to see all the support I had received. In the kind words that followed from Coach Paul. Took it over in the, first, in the first quarter, middle of the first quarter, the second quarter, and you were phenomenal. But I could see it in your eyes. I could see it coming. You were not going to lose this game. At least it wasn't going to be because of you, if you love that game. And I am so proud of you for that. Everything went pretty well. I was really happy to get on the court and be able to play at my own old school. But overall, as far as the whole game goes, I think I played very well offensively and defensively, so I'm happy.